Good morning, folks. We've got space weather to cover. That filament eruption yesterday may actually give us a little love tap. We also peek in on geomagnetic excursion data and the impact of solar activity on volcanoes. We are starting with that filament eruption we saw yesterday morning. At that time, we looked at the directionality of the eruption and suggested it was headed out slightly away from Earth. The majority of the CME certainly is doing that, but SOHO shows the faint eruption with part of the halo difficult to distinguish in terms of heading out that way. NASA's Enlil Spiral was subsequently updated to show the CME is right on the line. Their model indicates that it's about a 50-50 shot for that weak CME to give Earth a glancing blow. We'll be monitoring for that in the middle of the week. For the following day on the Sun, the last 24 hours, very quiet. We still have those active regions, but solar flaring has remained in the C-class range, and those flares have been confined to the active regions themselves. No further eruptive activity. Taking a peek at the sunspots, still not much magnetic complexity development in the distended group approaching central longitudes on the south. We'll keep monitoring it and the new grouping behind it that just turned into view. Meanwhile, we will also be monitoring the plasma filaments. Over the last couple days, the filaments have been more active than the sunspots. That's those thin, darker, snake-like ropes of plasma in the corona, and there are several of them. Up first in the articles is another window into dating and naming issues with geomagnetic excursions. As many of you know, the field has been complicated by various dating techniques, each giving different dates for previous excursions, not to mention some different names used by different scientists around the world. That's the case in this study, but they nevertheless indicate the frequency of the geomagnetic shifts, even with what is likely too broad of a range for those shifts. Takeaway is that indeed these happen every 10 to 12,000 years with more minor events on the 6,000 year mark. Lastly, folks, many of you know that Zarkova and I haven't gotten along well the last few years. She said we were going into grand solar minimum now, and I said mm, we wouldn't be seeing that this sunspot cycle. Indeed, I turned out to be right there, but I have to say I agree with her on this one. Volcanic activity and its interaction with the sun and cosmic rays is certainly real. We've seen several papers on the topic, and I'm happy to see another study here confirming that connection. Solar activity modulates volcanic eruptions. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.